So this is gonna be a response video. Not that kind of response video. No car, no, no. Hashtag prepare. So recently, Cap G made a video on a very extreme topic, which would result in a very extreme format. Let's just call it total anarchy format. And basically this format would happen as a result of everything coming off of the ban list. And I mean everything. We would have full power Infernity and Shadals and Monarchs, Burning Abyss, Necros, I mean you name it and you got it. So I wanted to do a really fun video on this hypothetical format. And I really wanted to explain why that would be just so much fun. I mean granted, most of the time I like standard formats better because siding is made so much easier and it's way easier to memorize decks and what they do and strategies and all of that stuff. But at the same time, I cannot help but entertain the thought of a total anarchy format. And that's because so many decks that I've loved to play over the years have gotten just completely brutalized and neutered by the ban list. So having the opportunity to not only play those decks, but see how those decks play out against other decks is just an amazing concept. I mean, just look at Lithium's channel. His cross ban list series might be the most popular series on this channel. So based on that, along with conversations that I've had with my friends over the years, I can see that there is a big interest to see what would happen in a total chaos format. I mean, full power Monarchs going against full power Shadal and keeping them in check. Or Necros not even needing the extra deck and having a lock themselves as well. Or full power Klee or Burning Abyss playing a billion traps and making cards like Royal Decree really relevant. I mean, we could talk about circles about all of these powerful decks all day long. <laughs> Wait, did I just say talk about circles? You guys know what I meant though, so let's continue. And it would be pure anarchy in Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, but there are some things that would happen that would eventually over time make a standardized, well-rounded format, in a constantly evolving format at that. Because X deck would top X amount of events, and then other decks would side or main against that deck, and then those decks would start being good, and it just creates this whole mess. You have to design your deck around the deck that's designed around the deck that was net deck. It's fucking net deck inception. But over time though, Yu-Gi-Oh formats kind of reach like like their peak. Basically meaning over time decks would reach like their peak potential and won't really grow very much from there. Not including new support of course. Like we know what these decks look like in their prime from the past and top winning decks were primed and built for the format that they were in. But this hypothetical format over time would evolve these decks into like their own peaks for this format if that makes any sense. Which would be really fun and in many ways pretty healthy for the game. Now for this hypothetical format to be functional there would still have to be something Things on the ban list. Like Exodia, for example, because if Exodia was at full power with three pot of greeds and graceful charities and, and all that stuff, it would just be tier zero broken, probably. Exodia and other FTK decks would just be way too consistent and way too solitaire. So draw cards and FTKs would have to be limited, and I would argue that the Jin Lock, as much as I kind of miss the Jin Lock standardizing that particular Necroz format, and in Necroz format, what I mean by standardized is the Jin Lock and then other decks having to main deck outs to the Jin Lock because Necroz made the Jin Lock very, very consistently. And in this format to combat other top decks, you're gonna have to main deck other outs to their shit, so having like Jin legal would kind of clog your deck builds. So the point I'm trying to make here is this anarchy format with a few hits on the ban list could be a very well-rounded and fun format. And I did a video yesterday talking about Konami and supporting legacy formats and yada yada and why they would never do it because they would not make any money. I mean, the secondary market would explode, like they would shit themselves, but Konami would not make a dime except for like entry fees and junk. So in reality, as much as I would want to play any of these old decks, and I hate to be a buzzkill here in my own video, but talking about all this is just beating a dead horse. Because Konami is probably never ever gonna do any of this. They're probably never gonna support legacy formats. I mean, if they were, they would have already probably started supporting Goat Control, for example, which is the most popular legacy format of all time. Or at the very least, they would have already started supporting the traditional format or some other random hybrid format. And that, I'm sorry, to say is the sad truth. But anyways, guys, go ahead and let me know what your favorite decks of all time are down in the comment section. And as always, dick slap that like button and subscribe.